you have children and adults who die every day needing some sort of functional tissue. Can that be built and replaced and regenerated by stem cells? We think the answer is yes. Yeah. The manuscript addresses what I think are two big problems that we need to overcome to translate our work in pluripotent stem cell biology into clinical patients. The first is how do you reprogram the cells from IPS, a skin biopsy, say, from one type of adult cell, a fibroblast, back to an embryonic-like stage? If you use a virus to get those factors in, it can have off-target effects and insert in the genome in a way you don't want and cause cancer. Many labs around the world, including labs at Stanford, my lab, and many, many others, are working on ways you could do that safely with proteins, et cetera. So we're going to solve the problem of not causing a cancer when you reprogram the cells. That, I think, is going to be solved uh, very shortly, and many groups have made real exciting progress. The other is, if you have the cells reprogrammed back to an embryonic-like stage, or you have an embryonic stem cell, and you try to put it in an animal, it'll become a teratoma. It can literally become anything, teeth, hair, gut, etc. So it becomes a benign Here. tumor. It's our data would suggest that if you guide it strongly and coach it down the pathway of whatever, in this case, we're interested in bone cells, you can do that by placing it in a sandbox, if you will, a microenvironment. It strongly gives the signal for bone and in the macro context of a skeletal defect. Now, might this be applicable to pancreas or heart or liver or other um, or other tissue injuries is remains to be seen, but we certainly were excited to show this in bone. I happen to be a craniofacial surgeon in addition to a stem cell biologist, and we never have enough bone. So the fact that we could get these cells to heal that is very exciting. The preceding program is copyrighted by the Board of Trustees of the Leland Stanford Junior University. Please visit us at med.stanford.edu.